Good day guys, welcome to another episode of Cryptolite. Today I want to introduce to you a coin that I think is a hidden gem on the market. This coin is the smallest coin that we have ever covered on this channel with a current market cap of only 4.7 million. Not many people know of this coin yet. I think it's a very undervalued project and has a huge potential for growth. The coin is none other than Cargo X or the CXO token. To learn more about Cargo X, keep watching this video. This is a document known as the Bill of Lading. A bill of lading is a receipt for cargo transportation. So where a cargo is moved from one port to the other port, there is an acknowledgement and signing of the bill lading to transfer the responsibility of the cargo to the next person. The important thing to know is that the bill of lading doesn't travel with the actual cargo. So for example, if the cargo was traveling by sea from port to port, the bill of lading as a document could be sent by airplane and courier to the next port. This is to ensure that the cargo, if the cargo was lost at sea, the bill of lading would not be lost and the evidence of the worth of goods would still be preserved. In this day and age, you would imagine that this would be an electronic process by now, but it is not. It still relies on old school paper and snail mail, making it very slow, expensive and unreliable. Currently, the average cost of sending a bill of lading from one port to the next is about 100 USD. And there are over 50 million bill of ladings created each year, making this an industry that is worth over 5 billion of courier costs each year. The average length of time is 5 to 10 days, depending on how far the ports are from each other. And what is even more expensive is if the cargo was to reach the port before the bill of lading, then the cargo has to be detained at the port for a very high fee. Cargo X aims to transform the global shipping industry by securing the bill of lading documents using blockchain technology. They will provide a way for importers and exporters to exchange those documents digitally, securely, with no possibility of fraud in a very neutral environment. The cost will only be 10% of the current cost and the speed will be literally 1000 times faster. And furthermore, as a blockchain technology, they will be the safest, most untemperable open ledger of bill lading in the world. There is no other solution they can compare with their solution. And right now, they are the only blockchain project in the whole world addressing this issue. This is potentially game-changing technology. As you can imagine, there are many parties involved in the shipping transportation route. There is the producer, the logistics company, the carrier, the importer, the release agent, and more. Traditionally, the hard copy of the bill of lading would have to be transported or passed through all of these agents before the cargo reached the port. And looking at the number of agents, you can understand why sometimes the bill of lading reaches the port after the cargo. Cargo X introduces a new system that is known as the Smart Bill of Ladings. This is an electronic copy of the Bill of Ladings that is created and managed with smart contracts, aka blockchain technology. The legal owner of the group, the very first party, can create a Smart Bill of Lading in literally 20 seconds and then it immediately becomes available for all parties to see and access. Because it is blockchain and decentralized, the information cannot be changed or hacked, meaning it is completely fraud-proof and secure. This is a simple table comparing the paper bill of ladings against the smart bill of ladings of Cargo X. The cost of creating a bill of ladings can be as low as 10% debt compared to the paper. There is also no sending cost or risk or loss or damage as opposed to paper, where the average cost is 10 times that, so $100 with associated risk. There is no transaction or transition time with smart bills of ladings because the smart bills of ladings as is on the debt that is available to all parties immediately. This is opposed to paper where it takes 5 to 10 days to reach port. And there is no paper storage needed. Furthermore, with the smart bills of ladings, it can be incorporated with other supply chain solutions. For example, the DEP could have information about sensors to provide an up-to-date information about the condition of the transportation, for example, the temperature of the containers, etc. This is information that you will never get with a hard paper bill of ladings. So there really is no reason for a shipping company not to use the smart bill of ladings. 
Potentially, this is a project that could combine with other projects in the blockchain space, example VeChain or Walton Chain, or they could even go further to develop their own hardware sensors. Either way, there is a lot of room of growth for this project. If you've been in the blockchain for a little while, you would be aware that there are a lot of supply chain projects, starting with retail industry projects like VeChain and Walton Chain, to food industry specific uh, supply chain projects like Wabi, T-Food, Ambrosus, etc. And now you have Cargo X, which is supply chain affecting the supply chain in the shipping industry. The reason for blockchain use with supply chain is because blockchain is very ideal technology for supply chain. Uh, with supply chain, you don't need super high transaction speeds. You're not doing 10,000 transactions per second. You just need a fairly fast speed. But what you really need is a technology that will provide a very open and secure ledger for a very affordable price. And that's exactly what the blockchain offers. So moving forward into the next few years, I really believe that blockchain will transform the entire supply chain industry. And this is going to be a very huge market for blockchain projects. And all of the projects in the space right now have early movers advantage and are potentially very good investments, definitely worth knowing about. Cargo X has their own DEP. That is a program with a very clean and easy to use interface that any company can install and use. There is also a very clear guide on their website teaching how to use the app step by step. Furthermore, the Cargo X technology can also be installed as an API instead of a program, instead of an app. An API is basically an app for an app. So for example, your Uber app on your phone will have several different features. Your Uber app would have a GPS feature, a payment feature, etc. Each of these features are different APIs. The Uber app itself is an app. So Cargo X will provide both the app option if you want to install their program. But for companies who don't want to use another app on top of the many apps they are already using, they can simply integrate the technology as an API into their existing business software. So it would be a simple drop down menu on the current program that they are using. So this will really promote mass adoption because it causes very little inconvenience to any companies wanting to take up their technology. There are some aspects of the technical blue paper that is still confidential at this point. It may be due to patents or other reasons, but for that reason, because it's confidential, we can't dive into the tech too much. However, the tech that they are offering of using smart contracts in a simple transaction is fairly intuitive to blockchain, so I imagine that it is quite achievable. In fact, the smart bill of lading, which is the core technology of the project, has already been developed and is in pilot test now with two companies. The main product launch is expected to happen in the third quarter of 2018, so very soon, because we are now in June, so next month is already the third quarter of 2018. The entire system will run on the CXO tokens to ensure token use and demand. But instead of torturing their customers to need to set up an exchange account on a cryptocurrency exchange and then they have to learn how to buy cryptocurrency to use the service etc to bypass all of this cargo x have developed a very transparent process where they will top up customer cxo credit balance when they pay their invoices with a swift bank account the cost of each cargo x smart bill of lading to create that smart bill of lading is exactly USD $10. So it's not packed to a cryptocurrency price, it's packed to a USD fiat price. And then that USD $10 will be converted to CXO tokens, however many tokens there is at that point in time. Cargo X will also have a treasury wallet that will serve as a buffer for the fiat CXO conversion. So from the funds of the treasury wallet, they will buy and sell um, CXO tokens from the exchanges to try and buffer the price to maintain a fairly stable price um, that the customers will be using. Now, pegging the price to USD and having a buffer are very great features to promote mass adoption because one of the major deterrents for companies or enterprises to use cryptocurrency is because of the volatility of cryptocurrency. So by pegging it to USD $10 and having that uh, buffer, uh, it really removes, completely removes actually, the risk and concerns that enterprises might have. Now, remember that earlier we pointed out that in a single transportation, there are many different parties involved. Well, with the $10, who pays the $10? It's the initial owner who creates the smart bill of lading who pays the 
every other party in the system gets to use the technology for free. So for most of the parties, they're basically using a very great technology for free. Now, before you get concerned as a token holder that the token is being underutilized because it is only being used for one leg of the entire transaction, consider the cost of the transaction. Now, $10 may sound like a small amount compared to the $100 transaction fee that current pay-per-views of ladings would cost. But the $10 is actually quite a lot when you talk about a blockchain transaction. With the exception of Bitcoin and Ethereum, other blockchain projects charge very little for a transaction. Bitcoin currently charges about $2.40 for a transaction and even that is the most, the most expensive currently in cryptocurrency. Stellar Lumen, for example, charges one cent for 60,000 transactions. So in blockchain terms, $10 for one transaction is very high. They would in fact be the highest on the market. This won't affect the use of the project because the customers of the project will still be happy with a $10 price point because it is 10%. It is only a fraction of what they are paying currently, but it will guarantee the demand of the token for token investors. Other users of the token besides smart bill ladings creation will include services such as arbitration if there's a dispute, payment for other services that are provided by their partners, payment for sea freight on selected web logistic portals, and then they will offer a discount of up to 30% if you use the token to pay instead of using normal fiat currency. Now, if token use isn't enough, one more thing in the token, token economics that token investors are going to love is the fact that they have a token burn. Now, Cargo X has a crazy token burn rate. After the $10 is used to purchase the smart bill of lading and that $10 is converted into CXO token, 70% of that, so $7 out of every $10 spent, will be burnt and permanently removed. That's more than half, 70%. That's a very, very high rate of burn and that will significantly affect inflation because the less coins you have, then the price of every coin will go up. So by burning 70% every transaction is going to significantly affect the token price by inflation. Okay? So token investors love that kind of thing. Now, which means this, right? All other factors even, the earlier an investor gets into this project, the better, because with every single price burn, the price of the tokens will get inflated more and more permanently because the burns are permanent. And again, 70% is a very significant amount. I've never heard of a 70% coin burn in cryptocurrency. Cargo X will set the CXO token burning percentage yearly, so it won't always be 70%, but it's done annually. So for the first year, it will be held at 70%. The parent company behind Cargo X is actually a Slovenian container booking platform that is known as 45HC. They specialize in helping small to medium enterprises get their goods from China to Europe at competitive prices, and they are currently the fastest container booking platform on the web. So 45HC and what they are doing doesn't contradict uh, Cargo X. It's, Cargo X is not replacing them. In fact, as a container booking platform, they run into problems with um, bills of laden and how um, chunky the whole process is. So Cargo X was actually a solution, a working solution that the CEO of 45HC wanted. And so he developed a blockchain project called Cargo X. And in fact, the CEO of Cargo X is the same CEO as 45HC. Now, 45HC as a company is also in alliance with Intra. Intra is a very large um uh, pro, uh, logistics company in the space. They are the largest neutral electronic transaction platform and information provider for the ocean shipping industry. They initiate over 700,000 container orders weekly and as a single company, they represent approximately 25% of global ocean container trade. So while 45HC may not be Maersk, the world's largest shipping company, they certainly are a significant player in the field. The thing about Cargo X as a project is that Cargo X, you must understand, is not a logistic company like Maersk or Intra. Cargo X is um, specific to streamlining bills of laden, which is a problem that every logistic company in transportation faces, meaning that every logistic companies from Maersk to Intra to 45HC can use their technology. So Cargo X is aiming to be 
is not aiming to be another company in the transportation industry. They are aiming to be a single game-changing technology that every company in the space can use. Although they haven't launched their working product yet, they already have two partners currently, Musepad, who is a leading transportation company, and MakerDAO, who is a respected team in the Ethereum developer community. So one um, transportation and one blockchain company. Their partners are enterprises that will be using their service and they are currently offering um, any partners advantages such as 1,000 free bills of ladings and the possibility of tailor-made features and prioritization, etc. The projects also have supporters. Supporters are people who have not committed to being partners yet but are considering signing on with them. So for the people who are considering the supporters, Cargo X offers them free consultation and an insider glimpse into the actual testing and working of the blockchain technology. Supporters will also get priority onboarding if they do decide to use Cargo X Smart View of Lading. If you look at the supporter list, they have quite a few supporters already, including very significant names like Samara and Co. And check this out, the Republic of Slovenia. So they got the Ministry of Infrastructure with potential a government partnership on board. And then there's other big companies like MANA and TPG. Now, I suspect that a lot of the bigger companies will probably want to wait until there are a few more working testimonies before they actually jump onto the project. So I think this will only happen after Cargo X is officially launched live in the third quarter. And then they have a few more smaller partners who try their products and testify that it is working well. Then and only then, I think the bigger partners like the Slovenian government, government and the big companies will jump on. And I think that is when this whole project will really gain traction, which is only a few months away. If you go onto their website and you check their blog, the team has been very active in building partnerships and promoting their products. They recently presented at the EuroTrade Net 2018, the Transport Logistic China, the Collaborative Innovation Days of 2018, which is organized by ELIS, which is the Alliance for Logistics Innovation through Collaboration in Europe and other more conferences. The thing I wanted to point out from here is that all their marketing has been targeted at real world logistics seminars and events. None of their marketing has been at blockchain events like Consensus. That is why this project is still so unknown to crypto investors at this point. But I believe that one day soon, once they have a working product and they attract the big partnerships, all of that will change. Once they get a government partnership, if they get it, that is going to be huge and that is really going to capture the attention of crypto news. And at that point, I think the price of this project will rise very quickly and very steeply because this is a project that has very good fundamentals but is currently very undervalued. This is the team behind the project. It's a very good team with a lot of experience and success and the team is well balanced in terms of having both business and technical blockchain um, aspects or experts. The CEO and founder of the project is Stefan Cookman, who is also the CEO of 45HC. He previously worked with one of the world's largest logistics providers, Kue Ninego, and he has a very strong background in product promotion and market research. Their CEO is Ignor Jacomin, who has more than 20 years of experience in transport logistics and shipping industry. He was the previous state secretary at the Ministry of Transport of the Republic of Slovenia, so that's the link to the Slovenian government. And he is an experienced lecturer and assistant professor at various universities with a PhD in transport and logistics. He is also the previous managing director of SEMA Global Logistics and the supervisory board member of Port of Copo and BTC Terminal. And you can go through the rest of the resumes in your own time, but overall, this is a very heavyweight team that inspires confidence. They have two versions of the roadmaps that I could find. The first one is on the left, and that is the one on the website, and it's actually outdated, and it ended back in March 2018, so that's three months ago, so they need to update the website. A longer pitch roadmap I found in their technological paper, and that's the one on the right side, and that one goes a bit further to the end of 2019. Now, for that roadmap, we're really only right at the beginning of the roadmap, which is the second quarter of 2018. And it's right after the milestone of releasing smart bills of later MVP. And MVP means a minimum viable product. So they have enough uh, technology to show that they can get the technology off the ground. 
Um, we are now awaiting the launch of the DEP as well as the first customers that is expected to happen anytime uh, second quarter to third quarter of 2018. Other longer term features that they are hoping to include next year include uh, extending the protocol to accommodate insurance, quality control, integration with IoT, Internet of Things vendors. And this is most likely the sensors in the containers that we're talking about and more. So really this project could go a bit, uh, could, could grow much bigger than just the bill of latents. This is really the beginning um, step, the poster boy for this project. So once again, there is a lot of room for this project to grow. Finally, running off with a look at the token price. If you see from the chart, since being launched in late January, the token price has taken a real beating. At its peak right after it hit the exchanges in late January, it peaked at 23 cents and currently it's dropped all the way to only 3.8 cents. That's a drop of 85%. Now, the big drop isn't because the project isn't good, but the big drop has been because of the general market crash. The thing you got to understand with the crypto market is what is called Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin is the biggest coin on the market by far and people sometimes consider it the most stable coin. So when the market is bad, people will want to be safe and so they will take money out of altcoins like Cargo X and they will put it back into Bitcoin. And in bear markets like the past few months, we will see a general rise in terms of Bitcoin dominance and all the other altcoins suffering. In fact, the smaller the altcoins, the less confidence the market has in the altcoin and then the more um, the coin will suffer or drop. <coughs> the thing about Cargo X is back in its ICO stage in January, it was a very low cap ICO. Okay, Even the ICO was very low cap. The ICO was only kept at 7 million. So a normal ICO would be hard cap at about 30 to 40 million. So they're really only one quarter to one fifth of uh, what other projects will pitch them. So even at launch, once they hit finish their ICO, they were very, very small market cap, which pushed them very far down the market rankings. Normally, this would be a great investment opportunity because a very small market cap ICO means that you got a lot of room to grow. So that's why people like to invest in small market caps. However, Unfortunately, they hit a market crash. And so instead of people being excited about a low market cap coin, people lost confidence in all, not just this project, all low market cap coins. And then everyone moved back into Bitcoin. So because of that, they actually ended up being unintentionally punished and got pushed even further down uh, the ranking. So currently, their market cap is only a very small 4.7 million and they're sitting at a ranking of 583 on coin market cap. Okay, this is the smallest coin that we've reviewed that we have a good impression of. Now, I think we are at that very sweet spot where the market is possibly close to its lowest, I hope, or close to it. And the project itself already has released their minimum working product. So we know that they can launch their actual product, which is due to happen very soon in the third quarter. So in the next quarter, they also have partners in pilot testing and they are soon to have very real customers and partners, potentially including big enterprises and even the Slovenian government who have already expressed interest in the project. Once the project the, or the product goes live, okay, the token burn will start and then token inflation will begin. So there's many different factors to um, give a potential rise in the token price for this project. In terms of marketing, the project is also currently focusing heavily on transportation partnerships and they haven't even started marketing to the crypto community yet. But I really see that changing over the next six months. And finally, if you look at the general um, crypto market in general and the investors in the market, with every market crash, when the market begins to pick up, investors become a little more wise and investors become a little bit more careful. So investors don't just follow FOMO anymore. You know, whatever coin is, everyone else is buying, everyone just jumps in to buy. Um, investors are becoming uh, more careful. They're actually looking for fundamentals. And if you go to recent um, conferences and forums, you will see that crypto investors are not asking um, silly questions like when Moon, when Lambo, are you buying this? You know, it's not the formal kind of questions. People are beginning to ask uh, deeper, more meaningful questions like what are the token economics of this project? What's the technology? What's the consensus algorithm, etc. So even over the last six months, just six months, you can see the maturity of the market um, happening. So I think that with the next bull run, 
to an investor, the investors will be looking at projects with good fundamentals such as Cargo X. That's why I think that this project has a lot of potential. Now, we hardly ever review a project with less than 100 million market cap. It will be a steal if you could find a good project at the 100 million market cap. We have only ever reviewed one other project with less than the 20 million market cap that we liked, and that was TE Food, also a supply chain um, project. And that, I think, was a great find. Now, this is the first project that we've reviewed that is has under 5 million market cap. That is very, very small, guys. And because the market cap now is so low, I think the potential for growth is simply enormous. If they ever made it into the top 100, which is 100 uh, million market cap, that's a 25x gain right there. Uh, I personally think that this is a great project to consider investing in, and I'm going to keep an eye on it. So that's it, guys. Those are my thoughts on Cargo X. None of this is professional advice. It's all my own personal opinion and thoughts. So please always do your own research and make your own decisions. Let us know what you think of Cargo X in the comments below and your comments will also help others to form their opinion of this project. If you like this video and found it helpful, do give us that like and subscribe and do also consider dropping a donation in the links below to help me to do more of these reviews. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a great start to your weekend and I'll catch you guys again very soon.